Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a flip through for my 21st journal, which was my last journal of 2021. How ironic. Um, this is my December daily, which went all the way from December 1st to December 31st. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. I know that I've been uploading my journal flip throughs a little out of order, and I'm just trying to do what makes the most sense for my channel. Like I feel like for my regular journals, um, I can just upload them as they come, even it's if, even if it's quite a bit delayed. But for my December daily, I felt like I had to upload it after December because it has all my Christmas things in it and for my travel journals I just want to get them up as soon as my travels are over or else I feel like it's a little bit confusing anyway I hope you guys don't mind um but yeah let's just get right into it let me make sure we're all aligned okay perfect so on this cover page right here I don't have anything special I have this Polaroid that I took of me and my friends at school we um there's like this Christmas photo booth set up and I took my Polaroid. Um, obviously it came out very dark. I can still kind of make out our faces, but it is really dark. Um, doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to me though. It just looks super cute here. And the sticker is from Pals Arnook. I thought it had a very, um, Christmassy vibe. Okay, moving on. Here is the cover page. On this side, I have just a little postcard that I got in some happy mail. It says Merry Christmas, super cute. And on this side, I have um, just a collage spread. I use these cute little golden stickers, um, these flower stickers from Pals Art Nook. Use my code Valentine to save. Um, and these little dot stickers are also from Pals Art Nook, and it just says December Daily. Super cute. Moving on, um, I have a card here where inside I wrote all the presents that I bought for my friends and family. I don't think it's actually like fully updated, but anyway, um, here is the wish list for things I wanted to ask for for Christmas. Just these super cute cards that I got. And obviously they're blank and I just filled them up. Anyway, um, while I was at school, I was getting Starbucks pretty much every day with my meal plan. And so I wanted to track down what drinks I was getting. However, we ended up going home early due to COVID. Mm. Let's not talk about it. Um, so yeah, that's why it cuts off at the 13th. I was supposed to stay at school until the 18th. And so there would have been quite a few more days here. But anyway, so yeah, I had my Starbucks history and this cup with like, or this, what's it called? This notepad paper with a little um, hot chocolate cup I thought was kind of appropriate. And yeah, so I really love the Starbucks holiday drinks. Let me know if you guys tried any of them and if you like them. I love the sugar cookie sugar cookie oat latte. Love the peppermint mocha. Love the chestnut praline latte. Definitely wish I got these more often before I went home, but it is what it is. Anyway, moving on, this is my December cover page. I got this sheet of stickers from someone on Instagram and I don't have a planner size that would fit this, so I tried to kind of collage it like on this cover page and I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, yeah, the first time I tried to do this, I didn't like it, but this is really simple, just a bunch of stickers and it's really pretty. Okay, and then here's the first daily spread. I don't think I mentioned this, but in my December dailies, I only use Christmas um, and like wintry decorations uh, I don't do any of my regular like colorful decorations and yeah so anyway these were a bunch of wintry Hello Kitty stickers that I had so I just made a spread with them super cute um, and then here we have a daily spread using some printables from Paper Shower you can find these in her Facebook group they're so cute and I love matching the colors so that was December 2nd on December 3rd, I used this adorable washi from the Coffee Monsters Co. I had gotten some samples, so yeah, thought it was super cute. I don't like that I used a black marker, but I couldn't find a blue that matched this blue in my collection, so black it was. Oh, here's the first bookish spread in here. This was for the book A Not So Meek. A Not So Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. Um, I used some paper strips and some stickers to decorate. Um, and yeah, super cute. Let me just make sure we're aligned again. Looks good. Okay, moving on. This was my next spread. These are super cute. I got these stickers from the dollar store. This was Saturday. I just love all these little like, there's like Mrs. Claus, a little reindeer, some Christmas trees. And some of these are like puffy, which I love. Moving on. Oh, this day right here, I went out with my friends for food and we went to the Grizzly Grill as well as Chat Time. Um, and so I just glued in my receipts along with some cute little stickers. Um, this was Sunday. I used this really cute washi sample that I got from some Happy Mail. Super pretty, very Christmassy in my opinion. Also, I was gluing a lot of pages together just so I could finish this journal in exactly 31 days. Although at the end, I was kind of running out of space, so I regretted gluing some of the pages together here at the beginning, but whatever. Um, we also tried Tim Beeps for the first time, so I kind of cut apart the box and glued it in here. Um, if you don't know, Justin Bieber did a collaboration with Tim Hortons and they made these Tim Bits. Um, honestly, they weren't anything special, but you know, it is what it is. Um, we just had to try them. Anyway. For this day, I used some more printables from the Paper Shire Facebook group. These are super cute. These have like a pink theme. So obviously I had to match the decorations or like the paper strips. And I wrote the wrong day. It was December 8th. 
um, but it was, I wrote December 8th, but it was actually the 6th. Okay, um, this spread was for the book Before We Were Strangers. I don't remember the author's name. Obviously, the initials were RNC, Rachel Collins. I don't know. I don't know where that name came from. Um, but yeah, so in the book, is it the girl who's a photographer? No, the guy's a photographer. Yeah, the guy's a photographer. So obviously, I have like a photo right here. Um, this reminded me of I don't know, just the vibe of the book and the cover of the book was like pink and black so obviously I had to do a pink and black spread um it says everything seems better in a memory moving on this was another daily spread I just used this super cute um snowman scrapbook paper that I had and I cut out their outlines and then made this cute spread two days that was December 7th and then on December 8th the real December 8th I used more coffee monsters co washi tape super cute I love this little wintry theme like I think this was the winter I don't know what it's called but yeah it's super cute i'm so in love with it like look at it it's just so cute anyway um moving on oh this day i got in a washi order and so i swatched all of the washi tapes i'm gonna make sure you guys can see this yeah it looks good okay so um as you can see i got a lot of different washi tapes i got i think it was three no four packs yeah i think i got four packs and so i swatched them all out here they're super pretty and i'm so sad because i left them all at university not thinking that i wouldn't be going back um i have to delay my return a little bit because of covid again so all my washi tapes are left at university which i'm really sad about but i'll just make use of my like stickers and things for now anyway let me make sure it's centered again okay there we are so this was Thursday. I used these really cute Hello Kitty Christmas stickers that I have. I put some down the side and then on the top. So cute. Love this spread. Oh, and then I got... Shoot, my address was on here. Okay, I'm going to try to blur that out with my... Um, I'm just going to like put a square over it if you're watching the video. Um, but yeah, this was my rep package. When I got my rep package from Pals Arnook for December, my code is Valten to save. I've slipped the little business card back in its pocket. Super cute. And we're gonna try to flip this so I don't, there we go. Okay. Anyway, this was a spread for the book, You've Reached Sam by Justin Tao. Um, Thao, Tao, not sure how to pronounce it. Um, and then I kind of use the colors of the spread as an inspiration, which the colors are dark blue and pink, obviously. And it says we are two parts of a song. And I use these really cute stickers, which I thought just kind of matched the vibe. Moving on, we have this daily spread. This was one of the newer washes I had. And for some reason, it was like a whale and snowflakes theme, which I don't know who came up with that idea. But it was wintry theme, so I decided to use it in my journal. I wrote three pages that day. super cute and then here I was using more stickers that I bought from the dollar store um, this was a Saturday and yeah these are just super cute little snowmen and they're like hollowy if you can see that I'm not sure if you can moving on I had something to rant about so I just wrote it on this uh, once more with love journaling card I had to trim it a bit so it would fit in the journal but yeah there's some writing under here that I will not be sharing with you guys um, and then I just wanted to do a cute little Christmas spread using these um christmas or maybe winter critters from pals art nook again i will leave the link to her shop down below and make sure you use my code valtent to save um but yeah these this is just super cute i love all the little like florals and i think it just turned out really cute it says it's beginning to look a lot like christmas also this is coming unglued so let's just glue that back on together and also a little bit of glue here there we go okay anyway moving on here oh i did a secret santa exchange with my friends from university so i was just kind of um gluing the bits here my friend nikki gave me these really cute washi tapes so i glued in the packaging and my friend faith used this really cute wrapping paper so i had to cut it out and glue it in of course and then here i was writing what i got from everyone we did like a small exchange with everyone else and then like obviously a bigger gift for our secret santa so yeah super cute whoops okay here i was using this um adorable washi whoops from uh, what's it called precious and snow which is a small shop based in the based in australia um and i thought it was super cute because it had these like little cups of hot chocolate with this little candy cane hanging out and i wrote three pages that day but then i thought the colors of this washi tape really matched this card that my friend Mackenzie gave me um so she wrote merry christmas to my bestie it's like a kind of an inside joke um and yeah it's a super cute card so i had to glue it in Moving on, this was another daily spread that I did using more printables from Paper Shar. Are we surprised? No, I'm super obsessed with her drawings. They're just so cute and just so easy to print out and use to decorate your spreads. So that was three pages. Here, um, I was kind of doing a wintry spread with these little washi stickers that I have. Um, nothing too special to say. 
yep yep super cute love these little washi stickers and i think that is the end before i have to go propose this on the rest of the journal but i do want to mention you will find that there are three spreads in this journal that are not completed and that is because i don't have my printer with me and i need to print out photos to make my bookish spreads my printer is at university so unfortunately this journal is not completely complete yet which really upsets me because i always want my journals to be complete but there's nothing that i can really do about it Ugh, it bothers me but um i wanted to get this flip through up at an appropriate time so it is what it is if you do want to see these spreads they will probably go up on my instagram so make sure to follow me it's at letters to valerie and i'm really sad that you guys have to see a blank spread i'm so sorry i know it's never really happened before um except for in my travel journals where i was just doing it whatever um but anyway yeah so sorry that you guys are not seeing a full full flip through but like most of the spreads are completed so i feel like it's okay anyway i'll be back with more post-its okay let's keep going so turns out i had a lot to cover up so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a third round of post-its but anyway um here's the next spread i use these really cute like penguin in the snow stickers to decorate love that um and then here i got some happy mail from the coffee monsters co facebook group and there's this really cute postcard that came with it so obviously i had to make a spread about it and yeah so thank you helen for the goodies um here was the second daily spread or sorry not daily spread bookish spread that i haven't completed yet because i don't have my printer um so yeah this was going to be for the book you deserve each other and the first one was for pretty reckless by lj shen anyway moving on um i had a few of these What's it called stickers left over from a sticker kit that i didn't completely use up so i thought i would put them in my journal um this was a kit from pink planner shop super cute and i used three of those stickers to decorate this spread i think the colors actually match pretty well which i love moving on i use more washi from the coffee monsters co this was a sample that i also received of the winter neighborhood which is just so pretty i absolutely love it and I wrote two pages that day. Then um, the next day I went to Hollister to return something and um, they gave me this bag for the thing that I returned and I had this really cute like Christmas sweater pattern on it so I just cut it up and stuck it in my journal to write about that day. Wrote three pages. Here I have some thoughts. We're not going to go into it and there's even more thoughts right here but obviously not going to share that. That's why it's paper clipped together. Um, moving on again are we surprised printables from paper shower. Super cute. I matched the colors to it. I think yeah really love it. Love her little vanilla character. This was Sunday, December 19th. And then I have more thoughts that I wrote about here um, on a Christmas card, stuck it in. It's covered, feelings are covered. They're all in here. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I had more of those little Hello Kitty wintry Christmas stickers, but this was like a different page of the stickers um, and they had like brighter colors. So I had to use those in my journal, super cute. And here's the last spread that's unfinished in this journal. This is for the book Restoring restore me by tahara mafi um i just need to print out some fan art but don't have my printer so there we are okay um this was again one of the new washies i got from that um swatch thing that i showed you guys previously it has like these really cute christmas trees and i love the color scheme i think it turned out really cute like love it anyway um here was another super cute spread it was really easy to make i just had a bunch of these star stickers and obviously like they're green and red which are very christmasy colors to me and so i just put them down the side this was a four page spread but there's lots of stuff that needs to cover under here so we're paper clipping it together um i got some happy mail from someone i met on bookstagram and this actually came a year after it was supposed to arrive like i know they sent it a year earlier and i just thought it got lost in the mail but somehow it made its way to me which is kind of fun um and yeah so i just stuck in the envelope since it was pretty and then this is the last spread i have i know that was really short i just had so many things to cover up because something happened we're not going to talk about it obviously but i just had a lot of stuff to cover up anyway um but here i did a spread based on the book all your perfects by colleen hoover which is one of my favorite favorite books like honestly so good it makes me bawl my eyes out every single time i literally feel myself reading it and in span of five minutes i cried like six times like it's kind of embarrassing but such a good book definitely recommend um and yeah so i use these stickers from draw my leslie these stickers are from my shop yeah my shop parchment and pens and the quote is i promise to love you more when you hate me than when you love me oh i love graham so much anyway um i'm gonna go put post-its on the rest and i'll be back hopefully for the last part okay let's finish off this flip through so moving on we have a cute daily spread and again guess where these uh printables are from paper shower of course they're super cute i love that they're kind of like they stretch across the whole page and i just layered a bit of red paper behind it here we have another daily spread where i was just using up these cute little stickers that i got from a pen pal in some christmas letter this was december 24th um here 
I don't know what this was about, but obviously I had some thoughts. So I wrote them on this super cute card where it's like kind of, it's like textured and has like a little Santa Claus right here. It's super cute. I really like this card. Um, oops, there's some eraser shavings here. So yeah, there's some, some thoughts in here. And then on this side, I have a spread for the book An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahara Mafi. Um, super cute. I actually really like how this turned out, even though I messed up the spacing. I could not fit the word noteworthy here. I'm missing the Y. So that's why I put a little dot to show that it was like a shortened form, which I don't like doing that, but you know, it is what it is. I thought these butterflies matched the color scheme perfectly. Um, and I love these little dot stickers from my shop, Parchment and Pens, and the letter stickers are from Drawn by Leslie. Um, and it says, my sadness had made me noteworthy, beautiful. Okay, oh my God, this is my favorite thing. So my cousin, she's five, she wrote me a card. Um, and so I made like a little belly band here. So I just took a piece of wrapping paper and glued it on the top and bottom so I could slip the card in. Um, as you can see, it's my 2021 card. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Yeah. And then you open it and it says, I love you. And there's a bunch of stickers and some hearts. And on the inside, she wrote a card that says, I miss you, cousin, because she told me that she missed me a lot while I was away at university. Um, and on the inside, it's so cute. Just has some stamps and it says, I love you. So I had to show you guys that because seriously, my prized possession. Okay. Um, let me try to slide that. I can't. Oh, I feel like I just got a paper cut. Okay. Oh my goodness. It is not going back in. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that goes in here. I'm keeping it for the rest of my life. Um, and then because it was Christmas, I did a collage of some of the things I got. So my sister got me um, the spiral planner that I'm using as my memory planner. This is some wrapping paper that I just glued in. I got a beanie from Aritzia. Um, and then here's a little tag. Super cute. Um, and on this side, I just wrote down what I got for Christmas. So super cute little um, memo making sure we're still alive okay and then here was the spread for christmas i had to use this coffee monsters co christmas washi because it's just so freaking cute um there's like a little um emoji with like a christmas sweater writing a wish list a little santa claus emoji um a baking emoji christmas presents um a little emoji in a reindeer suit which is so cute or reindeer onesie and then sipping hot cocoa so yeah super cute i love this washi tape so much i actually bought a roll and it's just waiting for me at university to be picked up here, um, I did a spread using the, I don't remember, I think it's called Holiday Treats Sheet by Pals Art Nook, which again, link down below, use my code Val10, and I want to use up the sheet, and so yeah, here are just a bunch of the stickers that were on the sheet, they're so beautiful, they're hand watercolored by her, and then like scanned and turned into sticker sheets, so such, like so pretty, like so freaking pretty, I'm so obsessed. Um, and then I did a gift exchange with my friends, and my friend Eris made me this card that says the Holy Spirit you know vodka holy spirit ha so funny um and i put this washi tape down the side to decorate it a bit and obviously i can read her message on the back my friend kaylee who was my secret santa got me these four lip glosses and she wrote me a cute little note um and then it was another spread um so i use paper shard printables of course they're super cute i love using them every year if you look in my december daily video of last year the flip through you'll also see that i used a lot of these printables and this i actually think i put on the cover i think it was this one anyway um i read the book or I reread the book Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And so I made a cute little spread. There's a camera here um, and the stamp stickers also from Drawn by Leslie. These hexagons and dots are from my shop, Parchment and Pens, as well as these quotes. And um, this banner is super cute. It's of like the whole gang and says, I wish for the thing that is best for me. Moving on, um, I feel like I was just trying to fill up the pages, which I definitely shouldn't have done in hindsight because I needed these pages at the end. I was running low. Um, but yeah, I just glued in this cute little card that says Christmas blessings and it has like a little window here and I put some washi tape on top. Um, here, I was just doing a very simple spread. I cut apart this, um, I cut apart this scrapbook paper and just glued my um, hand lettering on top. And as you can see, I tried to write neatly. Wait, I'm gonna try to write neatly for the spread. Yeah, it's quite different from how I usually write, which is like super messy. Yeah, gross. Um, just making sure we're aligned. Okay, yeah, and so that was three pages. Here, um, I wrote a to-do list for any content I had to do. So I had to film a bunch of reels and like videos. I had to take some photos um, and just some other things. And then here I made a spread using these really cute, I think they're Barbie Christmas stickers. I just found them in my like supplies. So I thought I would just make a little spread about it. These are super cute. Um, and I just paper clipped it because there's something that I wrote about here that's confidential. Anyway, moving on, we have this spread, which I also love. I use these stickers from Drawn by Leslie. Um, so there's like this cute little wreath sticker where I wrote the date, which was Thursday. And then I put in the little gnome stickers and the mittens and the quote, meet me under the mistletoe. I really love how the spread turned out. Um, and it was December 30th. So I used the other smaller wreath up here. Super cute. Love it. My sister made me this card. Um, it's based off of the sticker that I got from my friend. That's like a little bear that has a Queen's University sweater. So it's super cute. And I used just this wrapping paper to decorate the edges. 
And this was a card from my friend Chloe. There's a note inside. Um, this card is super cute. Like, I really like it. And this wrapping paper was actually um, something that my friend Charity used when she gave me my Secret Santa present. And then I had 750 subscribers, which is crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, honestly, like, that's crazy. So I cut out some numbers out of wrapping paper. And because it was like a white wrapping paper, you couldn't really tell. So I tried to outline in black. And I think it's kind of ugly, but whatever. Um, yeah, I had 750 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. It seriously means a lot. Um, yeah. And then here I did a spread for the book Empire of Stores by Sarah Dumas, which I was rereading. Um, on this side, we have a quote. It says, nameless is my price. And it has a little paper border. Um, and I used a bunch of stickers and little die cuts. And then on this side, I did a collage spread that says, even when this world is a forgotten whisper of dust between the stars, I will always love you. So cute. Love them so much. Um, I did film a journal with me for this, but it probably will not be up for a while. So just keep an eye out. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, and then I have these cute little Pals Art Nook stickers. Again, use my code Valentine to save, which I thought just kind of matched the art. So pretty. This was a very simple spread. I had these little Christmas doilies I just cut up and glued in the corners. And that was the last daily spread of this journal. Um, I did read one last book before the year ended, which was called The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lees. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but it's L-I-E-S-E. -E. Um, it was super short and I just wanted something really quick to finish out the year and add an extra book to my list. I read 139 books in 2021, which is pretty impressive considering how much, how like, how little I read in school. Um, but yeah, super happy with that. And the quote is my happiest happy ending. And the reason it's on um, some white sticker paper is because I only had one page left and nothing to like glue a second page on so that it could withstand the ink without bleeding through. So I just did it on some white paper. Super cute. I had this little printout that I just wanted to use up. And I had a bunch of these boxes left over from a sticker kit. So I added a bit of an extra quote. It says soft and cool as falling snow. Um, yeah, super pretty. I actually really like how the spread turned out, even though it was kind of last minute. And lastly, I just glued in this card that my friend Faith gave me. It's so pretty. Oh, sorry for the change in lighting. I guess it's about time to end this video. Um, but she made this herself with her aunt, which I think is so stunning. It has like, like, I don't know, it's like texture. It has like pearls and this cardstock. Oh, so pretty. And there's like a little bow. I'm just really obsessed with this card. So thank you so much, Faith. Um, I hate this lighting. Oh my gosh, it's actually bothering me. Hopefully you guys can still see it. Like, uh. okay. Anyway, um, so here is the last spread. It is... It like mimics the first spread. Um, it says that I finished this journal on December 31st, obviously, since it was my December daily. I used the same flower stickers from Pals Art Nook and the same golden stickers, um, some printouts, and yeah, that is it for the final spread. And then here, if you guys watch any of my other flip throughs, you know that for every daily entry that I wrote in my journals of 2021, I put a sticker in the back. So this was just a way for me to use up all like my old stickers. Or I wouldn't say like old stickers, but all my stickers that are like not stickers that I would use in my daily spreads. Except this I'm recognizing and it looks like one of the stickers I used that I got from Dollarama. I'm pretty sure I got this from a pen pal. So anyway, um, yeah, so I just did one sticker for every daily spread in this journal, which means there should be 31 stickers here. You can count and see if I maybe put too many or too little. I'm pretty sure there's 31. Anyway, that is it for this journal flip through. Oh. Did I mention where I got the sticker from? I feel like I didn't talk about this at the beginning. This is a sticker from Happy Hippie Sticker Co. And this journal is from the dollar store um, in Canada, which is called Dollarama. Anyway, this was a pretty chunky journal. Really happy with it. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys did a December daily. If you have a flip through, let me know. I'm happy to watch. And yeah, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.